It's uh, November 24, day before Thanksgiving, and um, had a lot of high water. And it wasn't until maybe less than a week ago that the river came down and I thought it would be fishable. And I was kind of curious if there were still fresh fish around and wanted to maybe keep one or two to take home to eat. And but just didn't know what stage of the run was gonna be in and fished this morning and caught a couple fish on spinners and hooked a couple others. They were all pretty dark. Um, didn't see a lot of people fishing and they weren't holed up in the holes, but man, the river just completely changed. Um, a lot of the holes fish differently. It's like, it's like everything in the river slid down, slid downstream. Um, it's just really interesting. The river channel changed in a lot of spots and um, kind of everybody cleared out by 1030. So I bounced around to a new spot that I fished before and it's a good spot for running a center pin and floats and fished here for about five minutes and went 0 for 1 except somehow broke broke one off it wasn't a huge fish it just must have had a nick in the line but um so i'm kind of excited now to keep fishing beads on the pin here and actually right as i was setting up the camera i just keep my eye on the water and i can see fish they're all kind of darker so it's easier to see them but man, it's like anywhere there's slack water, slower water with a little bit of depth. It just will hold these coho. I and mean, I was casting into some completely stagnant backwater on the other side of a rapid this morning and hooked one in there and it was like impossible to land because then I had to pull it through the rapid and it got hung up in a tree. And um, But I'm gonna fish here and run the camera some and see if I can uh, hook some fish on camera. Pretty cool, caught one on the bead. A little, little darker female than I want to keep, so I'm gonna let her go. I don't know if that was the same fish a whole bunch of times, but my bobber has gone down like three times in that spot and I haven't felt anything, so. Usually when you get a fishy spot like that and there's no snags, the bobber goes down, it's gonna be a fish. So I just kept hammering it and that was pretty cool.
I don't know, it might be the last day I fished the coho here. Uh, I might try again before, before the end of the season, but I think it might be time to move on to Steelhead, try some of the smaller creeks on the Olympic Peninsula, and smaller rivers, uh, try for those earlier hatchery fish. Um, you know, the coho were really fun, and, uh, and it's cool that they bite, and I had some really good high number days. Um, but man, nothing, nothing quite like the fight of a steelhead or um, kind of the challenge that's associated with steelhead. Um, but yeah, it's been a cool season. The coho was, was fun and definitely has me excited for, for next fall.